Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'll do uh, another test video uh, with a motor goat bike. It's 1000 watt motor, last time I did. And the numbers on display was a little bit not accurate versus to GPS. So I changed the wheel diameter to 23 inches, which supposed to be. Uh, I think it was a little bit different. And uh, also I noticed later on that the motor actually cannot be converted because over here there is no thread so you would have to replace motor in order to convert it so if you're buying this bike for upgrade then it's good options but let's go see how fast it will go I also check uh, the billy goat and folding goat both of them can be converted easily they do have a thread so they have like uh, probably more upgraded and they also come with uh, hydraulic brakes so they are a little bit better uh, spec on those bikes with bigger batteries but i like the design of this uh, bike and also the seat so it's kind of very hard gonna be to choose one for you but let's go for the speed test so let's go for the speed test and see how fast it can go on track only after i change this uh, correct wheel diameter and if it's going to be accurate to the gps so gps show me 22 23 24 25 26 Brakes actually works not bad on the speed of 28 miles an hour. So it's uh, made 28 miles, pretty much easy on this area. It's a short distance, but if you're lighter than me, I'm weight like 215 pounds. And if you're lighter, you can go up to 20, uh, up to 39 miles an hour on full cha full charge battery. I think it's not full charged. I already wrote on it for a little bit. So. It is uh, more accurate, uh, 23 uh, wheel diameter. Also, depends how much air pressure you're gonna put. So, if you put less air pressure, your wheel diameter gonna be a little bit smaller. So, it's all very usually. And um, let's go one more round because always this direction will be different. 18 on GPS, 19 on GPS. 23 on GPS, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 30 miles an hour, where is, so it made 39, 30 miles an hour actually based on the, and over here it says maximum 32 on, I think it's, on display so it's still uh, need a little bit more work so i can i think you can still adjust it to probably to 22 and 0.8 and i will show you how to do the adjustment in the link in description you can find i did a separate video how to make the change and how to use this bike actually how to go to settings and change it's very simple versus to other bicycle just plus and minus no password required you can do all the changes you need and actually it's a lot of fun to ride this bicycle very smooth ride very smooth ride on this bike and it comes fully loaded um, except like the brakes the only thing that i would upgrade on this bike would be the brakes the brakes are good for up to 30 miles an hour but if you're changing if you're a lighter person and you're going to speed 39 miles 39 miles an hour then it's going to be too fast for this type for this type of brakes so maybe you want to go with hydraulic but since you getting a very good price on this bike you can uh, afford most likely to change to hydraulic because the bikes after 10 percent off in description will be a really good price and you can also upgrade the battery to a larger one they're selling on the website and you get 10 percent off with my code dad so i'll post all this information in link in description you can check it out but so far I'm pretty happy riding the bike because 
It's a pretty solid bike, very smooth ride on it. It comes with a nice um, uh, projection on the uh, ground at night. People will see that you're riding at night. It comes with a tail light, front signal light, a rear signal light. So it's like fully loaded. Also, the display is large with a lot of information in it and the voltage, uh, battery life. So everything there. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.